On a foreign policy level, Senator Max Baucus seems an odd choice for America's next ambassador to China. The Montana Democrat does not speak Chinese. While he knows about trade issues, Baucus is not known for a history of ties to the country. According to the Wall Street Journal, China's citizens are taking to their version of Twitter to voice concern over how the 72-year-old will fare in the notoriously thick Beijing air. One post quoted by the journal reads, So old, don't die in the Beijing smog. But if you fan away the smog and look at this assignment through the lens of politics and Democrats wanting to keep control of the Senate in the 2014 midterms, well, then sending Baucus to China makes perfect sense. Here's how many in the Senate think this game of musical chairs may play out inside the rotunda. The six-term lawmaker has already announced he's retiring from the Senate, leaving his seat up for grabs to Republicans in the next election. Being sent to China means the Democratic governor of Montana could appoint a fellow Democrat to fill the seat temporarily, making that Democrat an incumbent, which provides a big leg up for 2014 in terms of fundraising, name recognition, and power. Baucus is also the chair of the powerful Finance Committee. When he leaves, Democrat Ron Wyden of Oregon could take his place, and that would leave Wyden's position as chairman of the Senate Energy Committee open, possibly helping another Democrat in 2014. If the Energy Committee chairmanship is filled by vulnerable Louisiana Democrat Mary Landrieu, that could also help the Democrats in the midterms. Landrieu, as Energy Committee chairwoman, would likely see big oil and gas turn on the spigot of campaign cash for her Senate run next year. So when it all shakes out, sending one Democrat to the other side of the planet could be seen as a way to preserve two more Democrats in Washington, D.C.